I always I always check to see if the stream's actually running. Go, let's see. I think, is this running? Yep, it's running and it looks great. That's awesome. So let's just get on with it. What is up, people? I don't know who's viewing this, probably nobody. But how's it going? My name's Garrett, aka Slimefest, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I had to cough. Uh, I am pretty excited for today. You wanna know why? Cause it's motherfucking class trial day. And I can tell that stuff's gonna kinda get interesting here. Because... There were not just one, but two murders. And I mean... That, that's been like the case with Danganronpa. I mean, there's been, you know, there's like two, uh, there's two murders in chapter three, yada, yada, yada. It's like the whole thing. But this time it's different because it wasn't just two murders that were a part of like a single plan. No, this is two entirely separate incidents. The first one being that the victim, Angie Onada, or Yon Yonaga, I don't know the last name. Uh, she ended up getting killed right after she made a freaking dictatorship. And so, yeah, uh, now she's obviously not able to be alive anymore. <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, I I'm, I'm really stumped on how that case unfolded. But, um, <clears throat> even more so stumped is the fact that in the middle of the investigation, when we tried to perform a seance to contact her dead spirit, this game is crazy, uh, Tenko ended up getting killed. And honestly, that just made me really sad, because I like Tenko. She was funny. But anyways, it is now class trial time. So, uh, I ended off, like, right here. Well, I'm fucking pumped. I'm pumped. Oh, there's so little of us. Oh dear. It would appear we have all gathered, but it seems there are less and less of us. Oh. Less friends mean it make less friends mean it that much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Gonta do his best to help. Hmm. I want you to graduate from that super idiot level to at least Kaido idiot. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Are you okay? More importantly, are you okay, Kaido? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now, but... Wow, Maki roll oh. short as pack a punch. It's your fault. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hydrate. Being said. I know it's a tall order when they had to... You have to use your brains, but... Oh, so I don't have to use mine. Booyah! These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. Unacceptable. It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Rest in peace. Tua, please. Please lend us your power. But... It may be difficult for us to rely on Atua. Concerning what happened to Angie, whom Atua loved most of all. Well, you know... She shouldn't have relied on Atua in the first place. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God, especially Atua. I also... So what? Robots can believe in God. Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. <laughs> they call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do when I'm in trouble. How long are you going to say that for? Two and ghosts don't matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, the trial this time is going to be rough. We got caught in Monokuma's trap. Huh? His trap? That's right. You probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investing. <laughs> I'm right already. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> hey, so Suichi, say something. Huh? What should I say? Let's just start this show. Also, one thing I'm just really curious about, 
How in the Sam hell is Sumugi still here? <laughs> like, you mean to tell me that we lost... We lost Rantaro, Kaede, Kirumi, Ryoma, Tenko, and Angie, but we didn't lose Sumugi. <laughs> I'm not, like, hating on Sumugi, but... Oops, sorry, I had a pizza before this. I'm not hating on Sumugi or anything. But it's just hilarious, because she's, like, such a basic character in comparison to everyone who's died. <laughs> but she's still here! <laughs> Perhaps there were fewer of us. The elevator seemed to move faster. And so we fell, faster and faster, downward into the black. The elevator stopped, and just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future. Or is it? Uh oh. Boy, they look really depressed. Must be because there's even less participants now. Oh. Don't say they look depressed. They'll make Mana damn sad. <laughs> <laughs> As much as I love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth, now, let's hurry up and get this started. Extreme. At last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Inaga, the ultimate artist. She created the Ultimate Academy Student Council to try and prevent the killing game. Then Chenko Cha Bashiro, I don't know. The ultimate Aikido master. She hated men, but I knew she hated this terrible killing game even more. <laughs> the two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. And who was the one who killed them? Was it one person? Two different people? We need to pin that down in this class trial. In order to live, we have to find the truth. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. Let's fucking go. Yes, I want to save. I want to save in the five minutes that I was actually playing so far. I'm sorry, exactly eight minutes at the time. Let's see. In an attempt to resurrect the dead, Angie is killed. During a seance to search for answers, Tenko is also killed. I'm just gonna wait. Are the two related? Third trial will say so. Alright, cool. Uh, better time limit? That's kind of good. I, I, why do I have three? Oh, I need the fragments. Oh, fuck. Well, it looks like I'm just going off of this. Reveals V-points affected during non-stop mass panic debates. Yeah, we're gonna take this. E oh, wait. Oh, handbook. Right, handbook. Uh, let's go through all the truth bullets. Uh, Monokuma file three. The victim is Angie Yanaga, ultimate artist. The body was discovered in the Ultimate Artist Research Lab, and the time of death is approximately 2 a.m. The victim was killed by a fatal stab wound to the torso. Additionally, she has lacerations on her forehead. The second victim is Tenkosh... whatever. The victim's body was discovered in, the, in a vacant room on the fourth floor. The estimated time of death is 11 a.m. The victim was stabbed in the back of the neck, resulting in death. No other injuries were detected. The, f the four wax effigies that were created for the resurrection ritual. They are exact replicas of the late Rantaro, Kayade, Ryoma, and Kirumi. They were hung upside down from the ceiling beams in the Ultimate Artist Lab. A big book Monokuma prepared as a motive, Angie's attempt to carry about the book's resurrection ritual. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and the shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. And if it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the names of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy and 
Repeat the name of your deceased three times, then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, it means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Goldleaf Katana. It was stabbed into the Hong Kaede effigy. Because the, ka uh, because the katana is so old, the candle's gold leaf rubs off easily. There was blood on the tip. It was taken from the ultimate anthropologist's lab, so only the sheath was left in the display case. Anyone could have entered the lab. Considering the laceration, the injury on the victim's forehead was not bleeding as much as it should. Bloody duct tape stuck to her hair. The blood on it had already dried. Blood, the blood that was flowing from the back of Angie's neck created a pool. This door has a sliding lock. When Angie's body was found, the sliding lock was locked from the inside. The handle of the sliding lock moves at the slightest touch. Something gold and shiny was on the handle. Angie locked herself in the Ultimate Artist Lab since yesterday, working on the ritual. She would not unlock the door unless somebody from the student council asked her to. The student council members were Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Sumugi. By the way, uh... Sumugi had her suspicions about Tenko. Imagine if Sumugi ended up killing Tenko out of suspicion. Like, <laughs> imagine if this plain Jane over here killed Sumugi. That would be nuts. This door has a cylindrical lock. Monodam swallowed the only key, so it can only be locked and unlocked from inside the lab. Before Angie's body was found, the door was locked, but Kokichi opened it by picking the lock. And finally, Kokichi and Lock and unlock the front door of the Ultimate Artist Lab with his lock picking skills. Um, the Caged Child. Now we're going into Tenko's case. In order to form the Caged Child, you need five people, including the spirit medium and a dark place with no light. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the Caged Dog Village on the ground. Then the spirit medium must place their forehead on a stone and curl up like a turtle. They must do this at the center of the circle. After the other four must make the following preparations place the iron cage over the spirit medium then cover that cage with a light cloth. Finally, place the dog gun on top of the cage. Take care not to step on the magic circle during preparations. Finally, turn off all the lights to make it completely dark and your preparations will be complete. The seance will commence once all four participants stand at all four corners of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. After this song, ask, is the cage child, then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply with the voice of the spirit you have summoned. Kibo's flashlight, a function that Miyu would add to Kibo. He could emit a blinding light from his eyes. A hole that was in the corner of the room the seance was held in. There's a space in the floor so you could see what was dropped there. A magic circle that was drawn with salt. It was drawn on the floor of the room where the seance was held. After Tenko's body was found, the magic circle was trampled on. That made it impossible to check the original shape. The wooden statue that was put on top of the iron cage during the seance. It weighed about 175 pounds. Suichi, Kokichi, and Himiko worked together to put it up and remove it from the cage. The sheet that was over the iron cage during the seance. It's very thick and cannot be seen through. There's blood on the back around the middle of the sheet, but there's no hole in the fabric. Kyo was the one who placed the sheet over the cage and removed it off the cage. During the seance, there was a loud sound while it was completely dark. By the way, uh, during... The seance, there was a particular line where they said, will there be one, or will there be one, or, no, I think, will there be two or just one? Yeah, that's it. Will there be two or just one? And when they said that line, I think that's when Tenko got killed, making her a second victim and not just one victim, which is kind of a cool Easter egg, whatever. The iron cage that Tenko was in during the seance, it's around three feet high and five feet wide. Suichi and Kokichi placed this over Tenko and Himiko removed it. Tenko's blood was on the bottom of the cage. The loose floorboard right below Tenko. It was not loose before the seance. There was dried blood on the bottom part of the floorboard. The stone that was by Tenko's oh, the stone that was by Tenko's body. During the seance, Tenko had been crouched over the iron cage with her forehead on the stone. Tenko died in a crouched position. The injury on her back of her neck was deep, but probably not enough to kill her immediately. The sickle that was under the floor of the room the seance was held in. The weapon came from the ultimate assassin's lab. The blade was about six inches and the blood was still wet. A small amount of blood that was on the that was on the ground under the floor of the room the seance was held in. It was quite far from where Tenko's blood was dripping. One of the cross pieces that support the loose floorboard in the room the seance was held in. Only the portion that supports the floorboard was cut off. It wasn't broken naturally, so it looked like someone had purposely cut it. 
While Kokichi was investigating the neighboring room from where the seance was held, he had stepped through one of the floorboards. That room also had a cross piece cut off, the portion that supported the floorboard. Alright, I think we've uh, gone through everything. Let's do this. Oh hell yes! So now they get to do uh, the now they get the to do the voice trial. acting for me. That's nice. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is. That's a lot of paintings now. And vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, yeah, there's a lot of paintings. <laughs> this I'll is sad. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! Let's do this. I'm excited. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. Oh, my God. Kaido! Because of Monokuma's disruptions, <laughs> I couldn't do a thorough investigation. <laughs> Kaido. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. <laughs> Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! <laughs> Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Oh, poor Himiko, man. Who did it? Oh my god! Who killed Angie and Tenko? They were like her two friends. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. That's not true. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Like, no, that's wrong. Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Oh no! <laughs> Angie doesn't even have an ex. She has an angel portrait. That's sad. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. And here we go. Bop your head to the music and just, uh, yeah, the Necronomicon. You couldn't have completed the. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. You couldn't have committed the crime because. He came back to life and killed two of our classmates. Yeah, it's you have to burn the book. <laughs> so ritual did work. Boom. That's wrong. Yeah, there we go. I finally got it. No, it didn't work. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us. You have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. It was still intact, meaning that the ritual never succeeded. After repairing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, Rantaro's definitely not the culprit. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on a second! I can't let that comment stand! What? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. Oh, what's up? What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. Yeah, we're doing a third trial. But it's true. There's two I deaths. I never lie about motives. It's very fun. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead 
It's totally possible. Well, who the fuck are we gonna resurrect? Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. Uh, who died? Angie and Tenko. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. Monodum is still alive, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodem's corpse. Jeez. <laughs> I really suggest you play this game yourself. Like, it's very good. Actually possible this whole time? Yeah, but the ritual never succeeded. There's no way it's possible! Oh yeah, he's not happy about this. <laughs> There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. I mean, we didn't. We Let's didn't. Hurry up and find out who the blackened is. We only need to find Angie's killer because it might have been two killers if entirely. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Who? Who did it? Step aside, half pint. <laughs> I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. What? What? Why? <laughs> Play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. How? <laughs> You're throwing accusations from right across the get-go? Okay, we're just doing this then. Art lab, art lab, Kokichi's lockpicking. The culprit and used a katana to kill Angie. How do you know that? And it was found in Kyo's research lab. Well, yeah, I, I, that's that's true. Which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious. I mean, but anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. <laughs> you definitely cared about it, bro. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. <laughs> you went to the classroom, broke in, uh. and murdered the fuck out of Angie. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Is Kyo really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Um... And it was found in Kyo's research lab. To be honest, this one's kind of difficult, actually, because... The art lab front door... Nobody can get in and out, but the door has a sliding lock. And something gold was shiny was on the handle. Which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious! But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. Ba, ba, ba. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. Wait. I did not care about some katana. Uh... Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. <laughs> you went to the classroom, broke in, and murdered the fuck out of Angie. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> you genius! <laughs> I freaking love me, you. Classroom broken. Uh. Oh my fuck. Uh. The culprit used a katana to kill. Oh, it's Smoogie's account. And it was found in Kyo's research lab. Which makes you, Kyo. He said Angie would have let you in. Taking the katana, you see. So that rusty katana uh, no, no, no. was the murder weapon. Uh, uh. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom. Uh, fuck. Where the hero to cure lot, Angie still would have let him into her lab. And from there, he could have pinned her down and murdered her just like Damn that. It. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. No, she only let in the, uh... And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes no sense. But she only let in the student council members. You went to the classroom, bro. Okay. Oh! Ooh! That's wrong. That was a tight squeeze. I don't know why they made it like that, but whatever. No, Keo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Sumugi? Yes, yeah, Sumugi. Start talking. Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, 
She said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. <laughs> I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Okay, that's a bold assumption. I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. <laughs> I can't believe you actually got it. <laughs> oh, how clever. Why didn't you just say it, though? You can just ignore her, Gonta. <laughs> the remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Oh my god, Sumugi just put herself on blast, didn't she? <laughs> well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. And Tenko. <laughs> I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Oh, that sounds sarcastic. Yeah, of course. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. <laughs> that trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Sumugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Okay, well, last time we trimmed it down to two people, and it wasn't either two of them. people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what ifs? The culprit should confess already. Kikichi. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. You pulled this shit last time. Come on, man. <laughs> No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. He wouldn't kill anybody. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Exactly. Hey, stick up for me too. <laughs> Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. <laughs> torture might be a bit too far. Oh shit! Here we go. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. I'm not, not, the not the culprit. Ooh! Panic in the courtroom! Uh, Art Law's back door. Creature's locked up. consider other gentlemen. possibilities. Ah! Surely there must be suspects gentlemen outside the student council. Trace student council. Oh. Shut up, Gona. Uh, and do you really have an alibi for the last night? A dead chick can't be the culprit. Talking to both friends. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than being out too late at night. Look, I don't know who the culprit is. Ask bug friends. Can't question it. There are several suspicions, but one is obviously inconsistent. I'll listen carefully, store the statements in my head, and find the answer. All right, Kibo, what's up? Surely there must be suspects outside the city. Shut up. That's utterly impossible. A dead chick can't be the culprit. Why? Only student council members had access. Kokichi, that's bullshit, and you know it. I didn't know robots told such boring lies. But it's definitely not me. Is that a robophobic remark? <laughs> We must consider other possibilities. Nobody can get in there except for you, dipshit. That's utterly impossible. A dead chick can't be the culprit. Why? Only student councilman. Shut up. I heard it. No. It wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. It was also Kokichi. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? No, you lockpicked. Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab. Bro, you put yourself on the spot. I was referring to Kyo. You <laughs> couldn't have done it, but you could have. <laughs> because I saw you open the classroom lock. We literally saw you lockpicking. Yo, Gokichi kinda sus. I think it's the imposter. <laughs> he pulled out some thin needles and stuck them in the keyhole. Open says me. <laughs> oh, that happened? I totally forgot. Gokichi, you dumbass. 
So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. Hmm? I killed Angie. That's a lie. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? What did you just say? That's a lie. I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me, all along. <laughs> what? what? Nah, he's lying. He's lying. What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? It is absolutely a joke. Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. <laughs> and it helped. I feel He's so He's absolutely lying. Better. There's no fucking way he would just give himself up this easily. Then again... Right. So Kokichi really is... This is Kokichi we're talking about? No, he's lying. I think yeah. Maybe? I'm with Miyu here. I I'm not sure. He's lying. I'm certain of it. No, no. Definitely not a lie. <laughs> I killed Angie. <laughs> Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Ooh! Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. You can't lock pick a door closed. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? No. <laughs> Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the Wait, room. Wait, can you actually do that? That's that's weird. They used a different method. They used the... What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. I'm not sure, but I think it involves the uh, back sliding door. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... The back door. That's it! Nice, I'm smart. I know what I'm the doing. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock. Yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. Oh, my mind. All right. Is this it? No. I need to just start breaking shit. There it is, uh, gold katana. That's exactly what I'm looking for here. I just need to start breaking these. Wow, this is going very smoothly. Oh, you motherfucker, that's the sheet. Are you kidding? Is it up here? I, I hate you. Easy clappings. I see it. Nice. <laughs> the gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. How'd they hit it? What? So the gold leaf was in the sliding lock because. They hit it with the katana? Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm. That evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Pope's Peak? I don't know. <laughs> Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. Yes, Kokichi. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? Yeah, that should have been it. But wait, how did they move it with the katana? 
And from outside Angie's lab. That's what I'm really curious about. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. How the fuck? <laughs> it was an odd setup after all. With yeah. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? Of course not. No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. It looked very strange. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Yeah, it was to throw us off. A different purpose. What could that have been? Culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. Oh, psych taxi! Alright. Suichi's going to pick up bitches in his taxi. Yeah, there's a certain way that this was locked. Alright, playing Mario Kart. It's fun. It's fun. What turned the handle of the sliding lock? It was the katana, right? Katana's hilt. Bam. Okay, so the katana's hilt, but that doesn't explain it because it was facing the opposite direction. Next question. This is like some vaporwave stuff. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's Tenko in the circle. What was done to make the katana turn the lock? Okay, let's put my mind to it, figure it out. Katana was stabbed into the effigy, right? And then was the effigy manipulated from outside of the room? Or is it effigy? I don't I don't know how to say it. Effigy, effigy, potato, potato. <laughs> that's the that's the ultimate Academy Student Council. So I got lost. I think uh wait, let me let me just slow down. Let me just slow down. Yeah, yeah, that's the Japanese picture. Oh, that's weird. Whatever. Go, go, go! How was the effigy manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? Probably manipulated through the ropes, right? You would spin it, wouldn't you? There we go! So they spun it. That's smart. That's really smart. Honestly, I'm surprised they managed to make connections on the Kirumi That's murder. It. The reason but, like, the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. But I legitimately did not know this. <laughs> effigy spun? How did it spin? That's right. Oh! The effigy 
the rope it was hanging from would twist. Holy fuck, that's smart! It would swing around and smack the sliding lock. let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. And of course, the katana would spin with it. That's so fucking smart! I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? What the f- The culprit simply Bro. needed to spin the effigy's rope, and then swiftly leave. These are high school the students! The katana to hit the sliding lock. How the fuck are they coming up with such in-depth murder plans? And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. That's so smart! Yes, that's how Angie's lab was locked. What the hell? By using the effigy with a katana. I'm gonna get counter here, ain't I? A plan born no, I'm not. Part of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. What the f Oh, but could it have moved the slide lock so easily? If it gains enough momentum, I bet the it can. sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. That true. As long and as the too. spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at night time as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at night time. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? I didn't say that. I feel so bad for Himiko, man. Case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. But it had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. But like the culprit couldn't find the blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. Yeah. There were no swords in her lab, if I remember correctly. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. Holy that shit. Way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. But who actually committed the murder that doesn't point but, to anybody kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed but that makes more sense as to why it was actually stuck in there <laughs> i don't want to completely ignore that possibility but i can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction yeah if that's the case then kokichi's confession earlier was actually a lie seriously you fucking lied again <laughs> Why are you not surprised, bro? It's, it up, Kokichi. it's Kokichi! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. You're telling the truth this time, right? <laughs> I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. What? Why did you say you were the culprit? Oh. I wanted to lure the culprit out. How? If I claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? Oh. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. Oh, man. You and your fucking lies. Go <laughs> and play with yourself. Mew said, go in the co go, go masturbate okay, during time. I'll start right now. No! 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 <laughs> Alright. So who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? I don't know. Mew, I can't hold it up anymore. <laughs> What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Don't you even understand something as basic as that until you become dumb? <laughs>
And we're back. <laughs> what should we talk about now? <laughs> what the we fuck just happened, man? On the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Okay, Kia. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. Yeah. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonto, Kibo, Sumugi, and Kokichi. Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Himiko would never. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie. She's still a suspect. You no. Know. <laughs> that contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. Oh. It's fine. It's just a waste of time. A suspect? Stars, no, yeah. I never kill Angie. So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? <laughs> oh my god, Kokichi. I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Uh, I don't know. Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect too. <laughs> Silence, outsider. Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. <laughs> S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down. What? <laughs> anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers. <laughs> what should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? No idea. Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Yeah. Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? I mean, I'm, I'm sure they do, but like, I don't know what they're going to say. They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. Why did Tenko have to die? Oh. Poor Himiko, man. I feel so bad for her. I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Can we talk about Tenko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Kokichi, no! What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. That's what we were doing. We solve Angie's case. Tenko's case is meaningless. Dude, did you suggest that to waste our it's time? It's not meaningless. Himiko. Tenko's death was meaningless. How dare you! I feel so bad for her, man. Poor Tenko. How could you do this to her? Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Dude, shut up. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. Dude, shut up. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. Yes, she did. Oh my god! Now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Bro. Kokichi, enough! Come on. No. It's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tenko before. But that's why I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tenko. Work things out with her while she was still alive. God, this is so sad. But now it's too late. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. Dear God, I don't know. Our only option is to face her death head on. Yet face her death? Are we gonna go into Tenko's case now? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. You do? So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. Okay, Kaido, I see you. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. 
Okay, Kaido. Kaito. All right. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tinko's death meaning. The name of the curse is Death Curse. Oh my God. I am. Um, suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. <laughs> Listen up. All you guys are gonna help out too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run. I won't forgive something so messed up. Tenko was our friend. Going to want to know why she died too. Let's go. I told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. It's not like we have a time limit, dude. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. All right. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on. No, Kaido's speaking facts, bro. Kaido. Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Notice what? Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. They might be related, though. Let us talk about Tenko's case, then. Yeah. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. It might. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but... I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So, what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tan Crouch probably got killed during the seance, oh so God. everyone there's oh suspicious. Oh my God! Tan Crouch! Oh my God! The people who attended the seance were um. Oh yeah, Himiko, Uzakio, Suichi, Himiko, and Kokichi. That's it. It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits. How the fuck? <laughs> oh, Himiko still culprit? No. No, well, that's, that's not how it works, bro. <laughs> the most suspicious out of the four is really. Don't say me. Don't say me. Don't say me. Kyo. Oh, he there we go. suggested the whole seance idea. That's a good point, actually. True. I may have suggested it. But I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... No, we can't be suspicious because Tenko was addition, killed under the, the cage. This wasn't entirely in my control, either. Tenko was killed in the cage, though. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. <gasps> that true. There are three empty rooms. Whichever one shall we use? The middle room. The middle room is always best for stuff like this. Oh, Himiko! Oh, right. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. From under the floor. And under the floor is how... Tenko was killed, though. Uh, how did the culprit get in from outside? Tenko was the top in the entire seance. It's unlike the floorboards were used. There was another location that we could have entered and exited without using that area. There was another? I did not know that. It's not this hole in the floor, is it? There. How? You're talking about under the floor, right? What? Huh? Under the floor? That's what I just said, man. Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. I just said that, dipshit. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. 
culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Who? Another suspect? Who? Yeah, who is this person you speak of? <laughs> it's appearing before me. Look. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Who? 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 You're not making any sense, bro. K child, loose floorboard, keyboard, flashlight function, the hole in the corner. Sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. Well, yeah, that's true. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? Yeah. I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now, hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and How? sneak into the empty room during the seance. I... Bitch, he lit up the whole room. He can emit a blinding light from his eyes. He said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second! <laughs> it sure with a little light you can move around under the floor, but is that possible? The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. <laughs> under the floor. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now, hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. Ooh. Boop. Oh, no. Uh. The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Do I have to lie? Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Now hold on a second. Maybe it's the hole in the corner. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. Oh. And sneak into the empty room during the seance. I'm unaware. I said, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm I'm the unaware. Sneaked in. Could have used that function to get under the floor. Not exactly true. Okay. Damn it. Take flashlight. The sneaked in during the seance. By crawling. What if I lie? Flashlight. Oh, flashlight drawbacks. It wasn't. Our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, keep that function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Who could have used that function to get under the floor? Drawbacks. Ooh! I'll the truth. Oh, I perjured it! Mew, you gave Kibo his flashlight function, correct? Did you not notice? I didn't notice what? It's hard to believe that Kibo is the culprit in this case. It's even harder to believe that the trial isn't being manipulated by somebody. So even if I have to lie, I need to defend Kibo. The drawback of the flashlight function that you added. It's so bright, even Kibo can't see when it's turned on. Oh shit! I just did a background! Hmm, I see. That bright, huh? We definitely would have noticed it! Wait, what? There's no way a genius <laughs> like me would make that kind of rookie. Dude, I act I actually backgrounded it. That's awesome! Well, you make mistakes a lot. Oh, <laughs> hey! If you're gonna fuck me in front of everyone, at least for the <laughs> first! If 
he can't see, it doesn't matter how bright the area is. He couldn't move like that. Why are you saying that? Bro, we totally would have noticed the flashlight under the floorboards. So Kibo couldn't have been underneath the floor. Oh my god, I did a perjury on my own. Is what Shuichi said true? Yo, I'm a god at this. <laughs> Come on, Kibo, play along. Um Kibo. Uh, um, well, uh, I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. Really, I'm sorry. Ah, we get it already. Just turn it off. We're gonna go blind. You don't remember? What does that even mean? Well, Shuichi, trying to make a fool out of me, huh? Sorry. Let me put on some makeup. <laughs> I want to at least look pretty before you decide to fuck me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that that's uh... <laughs> Shuichi, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Damn, that is seriously bright. Yes, we would have seen it. Wouldn't the light have shined through the gaps of the floorboard if it had been this bright? Thank you, Maki. Oh my god. The hole. Yes. The culprit couldn't have used a light under the floor. Not even Kibo. That's the point I was trying to make, but I couldn't fucking do it. Oh. They couldn't have. We were there after all. We would know. Oh, oh, oh. Near the corner of the room we were I get it now. Remember? When Kyo said the killer had a light, I was supposed to do the hole in the corner of the room. Ah, uh, that's it. Instead, I did the back route, like an absolute G, because I'm so good at this game. If someone had a light under the floor, it would have leaked through. But when we did the seance, I'm pretty sure the room was pitch black. It was. We couldn't see anything. That's right. We didn't see anything, so the culprit couldn't have used a light. How the fuck could they see? That's How did Tenko get killed? In flashlight function does not mean I am the culprit. <laughs> I see. That was a flaw in my theory. Yeah, Kyo, get bulked. Jeez, here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. <laughs> Jeez. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. That's robophobic. <laughs> my status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. <laughs> my vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. <laughs> All right, all right. You made your point. You also have but flashlights. Now I feel sort of bad for you. <laughs> I neither want nor need your pity. <laughs> Enough with the flashlight. It's way too bright. It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Really? Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? I don't know. Going to think that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not <laughs> being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe they marked Tinko. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna say where that's from. Cause it's a spoiler for an, a different class trial, actually. <laughs> that's hilarious. Dad'd let the culprit find her. There Come on! Ten you're not not Tenko, Samugi! Bro! Oh boy, that's <laughs> They literally just summed up an entire class trial in one sentence. Didn't have any trace of glowing pink, though. Oh, yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? I don't know. The loose floorboard was the one under Tinko, right? Yeah, it was under her. So, like, I don't know how the fuck. If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Good point. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit. We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. 
How did Tenko die? Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? I don't know. Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. Yeah. When? So not during seance? But how? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? Yeah. How could someone have gotten to her there? I mean, I was thinking from under the floorboards. Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible, dude. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. We saw her. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... She was dead. The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. So when did she die? So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. How? <laughs> a different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Oh my god, me. What? Now hurry up and think. I don't know. You have to do psych taxi? Make my golden brain tingle? Start circling. <laughs> brains. Am I going to do another psych taxi? Oh, never mind. Well, 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 this music's so bumping. Marker stone, iron cage, white sheet, and dog statue. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. How? It could not have been done at any other time. It's only all the parts. She was under the cage the whole time. Yeah, that's true. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? Like that. When Cage lifted, Culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. Wow. Oh my. Oh, oh my God. So lifted the cage. She's totally into this. Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. No. There's no did it. Oh my god! Tenko not being killed during the seance. That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence for when it. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done. Oh, the white sheet! The there was a blood stain. The the whole time. There was a blood stain on the white sheet. The cage was lifted. <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? No. That's wrong. That is wrong. There we go. No. It oh, hold on. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and views on bigfellows.com. Awesome. It's cool that I have a, a viewer, even if it's a bot. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Yeah. So it had to be from under the, like, while they were inside the cage. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. And I saw a blood stain under the cloth. Then, there wouldn't be blood when the lights cloth. first initially came back on and made a little gasping noise. What? But <laughs> how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so so right? More like golden smooth brain, am I right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the sale. I got your remodel right. Oh my there. fucking Mew! No. It's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? How? <laughs> I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out! Once again, your golden smooth brain. Let's fucking fight, man. Woohoo! Marker stone, loose floorboard, sickle under the floor, and iron Tenko cage. Tenko died after 
after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. Boom. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tango through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. And that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. How? Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the culprit. And that's none other than Keo. It has to be a whole Muse logic somewhere. All I have to do is show the evidence that will counter the Muse's claims. All you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage. Oh, the marker stone, isn't it? It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Boom! I'll cut through your words. Get that V cut. Nice. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. Yeah, she was in a turtle position. She did that fetal position. Yeah, so she, she was not with her yeah. against the marker stone. So she wasn't at all close to the And the cage itself was about three feet tall. She wasn't at all the close. The blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Then I messed up again. <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> <laughs> No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. God! Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> ah! How, how embarrassing! If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Instead, it was still intact. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like it is. Yeah, for a living person. Huh? 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 <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? That's not possible. What are you talking about? Th th that's not possible. That's not possible. We don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. That's impossible. Don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. <laughs> Stop that now. <laughs> Angie's spirit killed Tango? Oh my god, Himiko, don't Why? believe this. Himiko? Don't believe this. <laughs> Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? <laughs> like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! No, they can't. Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Was it... suicide? Could it have been a suicide? Well, uh... Did Tenko kill herself during see, the seance? You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done Wait, it! Wait, I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? How the fuck? If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. <laughs> How the fuck? No, if there was someone else in the cage, we would have I noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. How? How? You, you do? <laughs> Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Yeah. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What do you mean? What? <laughs> also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? Was it suicide? The they she's referring to. Was it suicide? What? I 
believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. Did Tenko commit suicide? What did you say? How? Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. How? Why? Why would she commit suicide? T suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. Why the hell would Tenko commit suicide? She volunteered to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the sand. That's a good point, actually. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? Maybe that wasn't the murder. If one. Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Maybe that was the last murder uh, weapon. Oh my god. Mew actually <laughs> said something smart. <laughs> Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So Tenko committed suicide? So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Why? Well, it doesn't make sense to me. I agree. Why would she commit suicide? There's no reason for Tenko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Oh. Yeah. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Oh. Oh. Tenko's pent up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. And then she killed herself her out of grief. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. W what? Oh. But if she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Oh my god. Really? Why? It was... There could only be one reason to hide it in the killing game, right? It was a fucking suicide! It's to take us down with her. Take us down? Why? She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Tenko, why? Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. But still. But what are you saying? Tenko... Was it like that? So Tenko committed suicide? Hold me. Keep your shit up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. What if all of that was just a lie? Oh my god. A lie? Wait. We should believe Tenko's last words. Holy fuck, this got dark. The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Oh my god! Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? So Tenko committed suicide to just get secrets. everyone killed? Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. I'm confused. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. Hokkaido once again speaking people facts. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. I'm legitimately shocked right now. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. No, Kaido speaking straight facts! If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll. Because I wanted to believe in her. <laughs> Maki Roll. <laughs> Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip <laughs> Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. <laughs> no one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? 
so how was it how was it a suicide my heart can't reach Tuko anymore but I want to believe in her she wouldn't commit suicide she wouldn't try to take us down so you're saying that Tenko pulled a pulled a Nagito like that's what I want to believe me too Gonta no can believe Tenko commits suicide but if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. It would. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. Proper reason. All right. I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? I don't know a reason. Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. Hmm. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. All right, Suichi. Let's see what you got. Actually, wait. I don't believe Tenko would kill herself because of what she said. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. She said, see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that, and if we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tenko. I'll make them all believe. Oh my god, this is getting so in-depth now. Holy shit. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. But how? Why? So she hid her true intentions. Tenko's not that kind of person! Tenko's last but moments? Tenko did commit suicide. It would explain how she died during the sands. Oh, wait, wait. Isn't Tenko's last moments... The injury in the back of her neck was deep, but not enough to kill her immediately. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Ow. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces. Fit. Oh, I have to lie about this. Everyone thinks that Tenko committed suicide, but only because of the latching on to the easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think their suicide theory won't work. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Oh, I get it. I get it. With her. I get it. I get it. I get it. So she hid her true intentions. With Tenko's last moments, I have to say that she died instantly. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sands. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength. Let's lie about this shit. Boom! I'll reveal the truth. There we go. Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor. The neck deep. The neck one was so deep. She died instantly, she right? She died instantly. Oh. Instantly. Maki's gonna believe in me. Her death might have not been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone <laughs> who specializes in murder. <laughs> Maki. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Thank you, Maki. Tenko died instantly. Thank you, Maki. You're awesome. What? Love you. <laughs> As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. <laughs> Thank you, Maki. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? <laughs> you better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? I perjured it. 
It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. The second time I perjured this shit in the anyway, class trial. Tanku died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tanko would commit suicide. She had no reason to. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tanko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. How was she killed, though? No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! We need to figure out how she was killed. Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? Yeah, we heard a loud crashing like halfway if you through. Know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve this mystery. Alright, we're heating up. K child, sound during seance, magic circle, cross Did anything center. seem out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance failed. Kyo. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. Kyo. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. Boom. I agree. Consent. A totally legal kind of consent. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Yeah, man, I am so thirsty today. Yeah, what was that? It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. What could that have been, though? have fallen down. Is it the dog statue? Fallen down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Couldn't have been the dog statue. Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but... The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. A loud sound, like something hit the floorboards. Maybe that had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. It's a bloody cookie chip. Uh. Something hit the floor in the middle of the sound. Hmm. Oh no! What could it have been? Is it the dog statue? I'm unaware. What caused the sound that was heard during the seance? Hmm. The loose floorboard? This is it! I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. How? That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That's true. There would have had to been a strong impact to make that sound. But what could it possibly be? All right then, let's go with that. 
We all gotta put our heads together now. I feel like it's gonna be a hangman's gambit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thundering sounds, magic circle, cross piece, and so drop blood. The floorboard come loose? I don't know. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. No. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. Could have. But that statue was still on top of the cage. The culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. <laughs> How surreal. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. Yeah. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? <laughs> What could have made a strong enough impact to knock the floorboard loose? Think about anyone's testimony and combine it with the facts. So what made the floorboard come loose? What the fuck? <laughs> must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. Could be dry blood. It could be dried blood. But that oh, no. statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. This trial is actually kind of hard. Like, not gonna lie. We already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Fuck. Oh no. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, it come with considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Tried blood, sound Maybe that seance. person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crash sound. Oh, maybe, maybe it's the just. Wooden statue fell over. Magic circle, but cross piece. that statue piece. was still on top of the cage. Could be dry blood. Hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. This? Fuck. Oh no. Owie. So what made the floorboard come loose? Hmm. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such Try a loud blood crashing under the sound. Floor. No, sound very sound. Maybe the oh. wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. It might have something to do with the dried blood. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Fuck. Oh no. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. I'm kind of getting screwed by this. Cross piece, dried blood. Wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Sound during sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. Magic circle for IQ, Drew? No. But that's... Let me see. Magic circle. Magic circle trample on. Yeah, so nothing could have happened there. Um, what's the other ones that I have? There was a loud sound while it was completely dark. Um, I don't know what this can be. Statue was still on top of the cage. Is it, the, hide under floor. is it the cross piece? I, I then stood up with such might. But we Ow. already said there was no one under the floor. I must have stomped through the floorboard. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on the floor. God, it's like I'm a on the ball. You are any strings across the you. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? Why are you so proud of that? What could have made a strong enough impact to knock the floorboard loose? So what made the floorboard come loose? Just the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the sand. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Oh my goodness! I was wrong! So what made the floorboard <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked, bro! What is the answer? Must have been considerable force. 
someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still... ...tied under floor. Then stood up with such might. Huh? No. Mm. Damn it! So what combine it with the facts. We got dry blood. Judging from the magic sound, circle. Maybe I should start difficult. lying, but at the same time, I'm kind of running low on influence. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make sense. I agree loud with, bro. I, I can't tell. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. I only have two minutes. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit mm. hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floor. A cross piece. It's a dried blood. It was quite far from where Tenko's blood was dripping. Floorboard. Floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. What? God! Uh, the best of friends. So what made the floorboard come loose? Is it the dried blood and the Maybe it's the dried blood somebody fell through the floorboard? No idea. That stood up with such might! How surreal. Uh, bro, I'm getting crushed. Wait. I just realized this is what I'm gonna hit. God damn it. I don't know what it is. Was still on top of the cage. Magic circle. Then stood up with smite. Must have stomped through the floor. Yo, little bitches. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh no. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floor. I missed. Bro, I've never gotten timed out by a debate. I'm legitimately stumped. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Is this? We can't. I don't know what it could be. I'm trying my hardest. Holy shit! So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud sound. Magic circle, Corey, can you drew? The statue fell over. But the statue was still on top of the cage. Hope it hides under floor. This stood up with such might. We already saw the one under the floor. Someone must have stepped through the floorboard. A floorboard that comes loose. There had to be a ton of force. On the ball. You don't need any strings of balls to say that, Mew. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? This is the same. <laughs> you got some new friends you want me to make to each? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Tried Maybe blowing. Where did that? The huh? Oh my god. Fuck, I'm just gonna go through each one of my options. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that put them towards the floorboard. I don't know what it is. I'm stumped. The floorboard come loose. What the hell? A considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. But that statue the wooden statue did not fall stage. over. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one in the Someone must have stomped through the floor. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was I'm getting made the floor absolutely the screwed here. Sound, what the fuck? Considerable force. Do I have to perjure it? Seance. I def I can't do board. that. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. No idea. All right. We already said there was no one under the floor. So if we combine it with the facts, then we'll know what it is, but like... It was drawn on the floor. It made it impossible to check the original shape. Yes, I know. Uh... It's quite far from where Tenko's body was dripping. Only the portion that supports the floorboard was cut off wasn't broken naturally. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. They might have to perjury it. Although I don't know if you can the perjury it. The floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. God. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience to see that, Mew. <laughs> We're the best of friends. What would have made a strong enough impact to knock the floorboard loose? So what made the floorboard come loose? Considerable force. Someone who participated in the fight. Move that person to off the floorboard. That that wouldn't have made a loud noise. The wooden statue. Maybe it's the wooden statue. I don't. The dog statue would make a pretty loud noise since it's heavy, but the culprit wouldn't be able to lift it back up on the cage alone. I was wrong. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. But maybe somebody fell through and they got blood. Hide under floor. Like Kokichi. I don't know. I don't know. I'm legitimately. I'm legitimately stumped here. Fuck. So there was anyone is anyone loose? there in the comments? Can you guys help me out? The sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Uh that wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. <laughs> Happened in the middle. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. What made the floorboard loose? It would have to be someone participated. It would have to be the cross piece. That would make such a loud crashing I don't know. Damn it. I spent ten minutes on this debate. Sound must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such not a the, loud Not the magic sound. circle. That has nothing to do with it. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. 
No, that's also not it. Cross piece. Might be cross piece. Hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. I like I've said this already. Fuck. I was wrong. Uh... Boom. Oh my god. What is it? I'm actually I'm getting like kinda of pissed off here actually. I I already said this. What? I agree. Oh hi, Mean Ali. Uh, you just missed. I just got my ass kicked by this debate for like ten minutes. How? The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. I'm confused. How did this happen? When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation, one of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. I'm I don't know. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What do they stand to gain? That's the question. To solve this case, I need to think carefully about the cross piece and the floorboard. Tenko's body was at one end of the loose floorboard. And the cross piece that had been cut was at the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part on the, was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces were cut. The other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko. And the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floor? Think. Come on. Think. Were they attempting to make a lever? That's a hit? Okay. What happened when the loose floorboard was stepped on? I don't know, E. Oh. Um, okay, so. Seesaw! And it's gonna be, is it Seesaw Tenko? Is that it? They attempting to seesaw her? Seesaw effect. Oh, 
Oh, they made a seesaw! That's right. The floorboard might have been used as a seesaw. Yeah, a seesaw? What? How would that help? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. Yes, that is true. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, it would stick it up. The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. Oh. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Oh! Her whole body lifted up? Oh! Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? There might have been a knife or something on the top. They couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they used the sickle. But no, there might have been something on the top. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? How? They seesawed it. To kill Tenko with a seesaw trick. Oh! Oh my god! They didn't stab Tenko with the seesaw. They freaking pushed Tenko into the seesaw. The placement of the sickle is the most important factor. That's so fucking smart. What? The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that's consistent with the evidence. It was the top of the cage. That's it. Damn. The sickle was at the top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> Ooh. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Ooh. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in her crouch position. But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Whoa! Bringing the victim to the sickle rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. Yeah, that's really smart. Holy shit. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. That would. That's a perfect explanation. The sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. Which means the culprit was somebody during that the seance. That make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. <laughs> how is that good old-fashioned? This is completely... Wait. What the hell's a seesaw homicide? <laughs> That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? So that means that the person who killed Tenko... ...murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. The person who killed Tenko was me, Kokichi, Chio, or Himiko. And Himiko would not do it, so it was either Kokichi or Chio. Well played, Himiko. Huh? Yeah? It was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. Huh? Why her? No. Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. No. It's Keo, isn't it? It's Keo. Let's check this shit out. Go into truth bullets. Um sound during seance. It was me, Kyo, Suichi, and Kokichi. And it says our weight, too. That's pretty useful. So Tenko's 115 pounds. Himiko's 86. 
Kokichi's 97, and I'm 128. But you're 143. I mean, Kyo's a big dude. I mean, he if he jumps, he would be able to get the the the, the force needed to actually like hit the uh, to actually hit the sickle in the right spot. Like Kyo's the biggest one out of all of us, so he would have the best chance of carrying out this plan. Yo, I'm gonna physics this shit. Like the only one. Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Oh no! Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. No, all the rooms were prepared. I remember this. That is why you chose that room for the seance, is it not, Himiko? No, all, all the rooms are prepared. It's not Himiko. It's definitely Kyo. If you go to Bloody Kokichi. He was investigating the neighboring room, and that room also had a cross piece cut off. So all three of the rooms were pre-prepared. I think Kyo just got lucky since Himiko suggested that we use the middle room. Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! God, Himiko's always on blast during these... For the seance. She's always on blast for these trials, man. I feel so bad for her. about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Oh my god! Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance, and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Oh my goodness. Then, she killed Tenko. All according to plan. You're the one who killed Tenko, weren't you? That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Nope. Wait, we don't know that. Right? Yeah, Kokichi, you're the evidence that I He's need wrong. to disprove right, Himiko, Himiko, right? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Tenko? No, she wouldn't. I killed Tenko? No. Himiko? You're way too small. You couldn't have done it. What's wrong, Himiko? It is true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea. But does that mean that Himiko really killed Tenko? Does something like that really happen? Something so cruel. Holy hell, that's just the intermission? I'm gonna save. And then I need to actually refill on water. Because I've been drinking, like, way too much this stream. So... Well now. I'm just gonna leave you guys with this Monokuma thing real quick. quiz yeah! a victim quiz not a culprit quiz 
The only victims are the people who are still watching this drawn out board crap. Why are you being such a downer all of a sudden? It's okay. I am sure everyone is happy. I don't even know. They could be skipping the entire conversation for all you know. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. I'm the real victim here. Me. Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with this nonsense all the time. <laughs> That's the right answer, Monade. He hasn't said anything. Exactly, because there are no victims. Even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone mourns you, and you get a ton of posthumous popularity. You didn't need to reveal those kinds of behind-the-scenes details. Dying makes you more popular? Then we gotta die soon, too. I feel like that's foreshadowing. I mean, I don't know, one of the monocubs about to die, and I can't tell who it would be. Because they're all... I mean, they're all good characters. Alright, we're back. This is my impression of a spooky, scary ghost. He's gonna drive Kaido crazy. I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary! How? Does not <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Dude, are they are they shutting Mono Dam now? You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. How is that scary? So round, so sweet, so delicious. How is that scary, bro? That doesn't sound scary at all. Yeah, exactly. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you hear something? What? No. I didn't hear anything. What is this sibling rivalry that is now happening? <laughs> Back to the trial. Himiko's getting put on blast Thanks for the for second trial in a row. <laughs> You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? <laughs> no, Corey Keo. I beg to differ. Used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? I beg to differ, man. Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Oh my god. Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. I feel like there's gonna be a scrum debate on if Himiko's a culprit or not. Are you even listening? Uh, no, she's... No, I'm not listening. What? I, I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Himiko doesn't deserve this shit. <laughs> Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. Okay, can't you shut That's up? That's not the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Himiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial! <laughs> Just shut up. I told you, I'm too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. What? Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. I have the evidence to disprove that. Uh, impossible! Himiko would never kill Tenko! It was Kyo who killed Tenko. Himiko, not that kind of person. Gonta can tell by Himiko's face. We haven't even cleared up who killed Angie, though. Himiko's a little... Slow. We're two hours in. This is a long-ass trial. 
also think Himiko is not the culprit. Um, somehow. Yeah. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. I have the evidence. That does Dude. seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. We gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko. Yeah, listen to the gentleman himself. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up. For the sake of everyone who's died. Alright, let's fucking do this. Bloody Kokichi, that's what I need. Forming the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? It was Himiko's decision. What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one, Himiko? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Kyo is. Other rooms may be trapped too. Oh. Right there, right there, right there. No. What? I agree. I don't know how that hit, but consent. <laughs> it's just like going to said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. He fell to the floor. <laughs> oh my. I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I guess there was no cross piece for the floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> well, bad luck. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Let's go. Well, well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. Whoa. Hold on. There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? Yep. <laughs> so the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. They anticipated if this. The culprit set traps in all the rooms, and they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. Exactly. <laughs> I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you! Fuck you mean, Kyo? This is no, your no trap! Reason to suspect Himiko, right? Kyo, this is your trap. Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Keep your chin up and live a life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. We're all trying to keep Aww. our promises to the dead. This is sad. This trial, it's not just for our lives, it's for everyone who's died as well. This is sad. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. Fucking tell him, Suichi. You're right. Yeah, that's right. Let's go, Himiko. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right. So let's do our best. Let's go, Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore. Let's go, Himiko. We won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Hell yeah, character development. Do not say everyone. After all, the blacking is still among us. We need to find them too. Jeez, there you go. Killing the mood like you. <laughs> but damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. Your soul, bro? <laughs> Well, anyway, do you think the Blackened this time has some sort of superpower? No. What? What are you talking about? How? 
Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards... <laughs> Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Oh, it's a circle! Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. No, it's the circle! Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. It was Keo's circle. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? That's it. That must be the reason. Oh my god, it's absolutely Keo. This is it. It is absolutely Keo. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Oh -ho -ho! It's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. The magic circle is broken, not only will the sounds fail, but it may also unleash a curse. You told us to not step on it! We were warned not to step Keo, on Keo, you're absolutely the culprit. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. Exactly. That was part of the culprit's plans too? Yep. That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit... There's no doubt in my mind, they're the one who killed Tenko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. Yeah, Kyo, you're going down, buddy. It has to be you. Kyo, was it you? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Ugh! Kyo? Why do you suspect me? You... Because you were yeah. the one who drew the magic circle. You drew the magic circle. You're the heaviest one. Everything points to you. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, Variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Fuck, that's smart, man. That's very smart. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. And that person is none other than Kore Kiyo. Answer already! Did you do it? He absolutely did it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is so funny? I don't know what's so funny. I was just thinking. Thinking what? So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. And you're the Blackened, aren't you? What? An intriguing experience? Why are you enjoying this? But if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? Yes. So, do tell. Do tell what? How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? Hmm, good point. I see. That is problem. Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. The culprit stepped on that exact floorboard even in the darkness. But how did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I can move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? He followed along the wall. That's it. The culprit didn't have to see at all. They used to touch. That's it! The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. 
That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Might have been the candles. Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. Might have been the candles, right? No, I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. It must have been at the scene. I know it. Oh, that's a hit. Um. Okay. Uh. Shit. Okay. Ma. Oh, magic circle. Oh, he used the magic circle. Oh, because he already has it memorized. Ooh, that's smart. That's an L. And this was an E. Boom. Magic circle. That's it. The magic circle. They used the magic circle. Holy moly. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. That's so smart. Oh my god! <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? Yeah. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. Oh. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. There it is. Um, so which is it? He has it memorized, so he would check? know where to go. Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. Hmm. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Draw the circle with salt. All but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Oh, shit. Hey, Kibo. Mm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Does Kibo have a video function? Excuse me, everyone. May <laughs> I have your attention, please? Does Kibo have a, a video function? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing <laughs> the magic circle anymore. <laughs> hey, may I have your attention? He's so polite. Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. <laughs> I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? Did you take a picture? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. Did she give you a camera? What the? No way! Did you really? S stop! You can't! I didn't install it. Please let me use it. With it, what? I might be able to save everyone. All right. So, what is this function? Didn't install it for that purpose. It's an image recording function. Oh my goodness. Image recording. <laughs> 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 
Ignition allows me to dispense a printout of my own. <laughs> I'll give it a try. <laughs> Ready? She kept it for pornographic purposes. What? <laughs> Use magic like that before. <laughs> this printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Oh yeah, right, you were there at first. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Let's fucking go, Kibo. Uh, okay. You're awesome! I reluctantly took the paper from Kibo's mouth. So this is the magic circle we used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything. There's lines on the edge. There! Oh! This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Ooh! You know what? I was gonna explain it, but no, I'll just let Suichi take it away. My lie. You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie. But that's a lie, isn't it? Oof! The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. <laughs> hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, my God. Oh, to be honest, <laughs> the recording function is to monitor my health. Oh, dear. And specifically... I make Kibo what? that function every day to uh, analyze my turns. Oh my god. You're what? Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. <laughs> Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's <laughs> natural beauty, so. What is happening? See? You're all grossed out. This is why I didn't want to. I feel so bad for Kibo right now. Stop talking about your poop. No one cares. <laughs> Kyo, you killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. You've lost, dude. I agree with uh, so, Himiko Kyo, on this one. If you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. Oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, sad pink egg. You've given me the option, I will oh, by the way, thanks for the follow. Object. Yeah, this trial was lit. To be honest, we've only solved half of it. We don't even know who killed Angie yet. Diversion. Unimportant. Now I shall bear witness to your abilities, Shuichi. Do entertain me. Ooh, let's let's do this. I'm I'm pumped. Marker stone, iron cage, white sheet, and dog statue. If you are going to claim I am the culprit. Then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. No, you were the one who placed down the, the, the True, carpet. We could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. Hmm? The only person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shu. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. What? I'll cut through your words. Easy peasy. You place the sickle when you uh when you laid down the uh, the only person the blanket. who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Whoo! 
This is lit. Wow. Okay. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly what? correct. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's correct? Then why don't you give up already? I think he just gave up. <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. Damn. So, it was you? You killed Tanko? Let me guess. You'll never forget. Yo, Kyo, you suck. <laughs> Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. <laughs> but he... But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. Oh, because he wasn't... What you talking about, Kyo? <laughs> <laughs> you still don't understand? Because his body was discovered second. I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Unless you were the one who also killed Angie, you're not going to die. You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? What happens to your votes if there are two black and candidates? It's first come, first serve. You see... I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Oof! Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. A trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too! That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else can do anything besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie! Yo, Himiko's on the attack! I understand how you feel, Himiko. But maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait. Robots can <laughs> understand human feelings? Yes, they can. Uh, of course I understand. <laughs> I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. <laughs> That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Kyo, you suck balls, Isn't dude. Kyo, culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? Yeah. How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. Oh my god. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case <laughs> might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Nuts to that. Anyway, you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. You sure? Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. Oh, I'm, we're, we're gonna do a scrum debate. <laughs> yes! One of you. Wow, this argument is getting intense. At times like this, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present. It's very own more phenomenal trial round. Let's fucking go. I love scrum debates. Hey, I've been waiting for this. Yo, I'm right there with you, my guy. Why were you waiting for? Because scrum debates are awesome. <laughs> Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he didn't kill Angie. 
We won't forgive Kyo what he did, but we can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. So I'm on the side of uh, I'm on the side of the fact that we shouldn't vote. That Kyo wasn't the one who killed Angie. All I gotta do is convince people that I'm right. And up we go. Good god, there's so many paintings. Vote for Q. Uh, don't vote yet. Why is Kyo on my side? I don't want this dipshit with me. Uh, Kokichi! Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He Ow. forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Right here. Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. The what? was found in Kyo's lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Oh, I get it. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself hmm. all along. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Okay, 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 I think I get it. Kyo's confession was shocking, but we can't be certain he's the blackened. We need to match up our ideas and persuade them all at once. Also, it's a three on five, like... Kyo killed Tinko and Angie! Uh, me! I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. He forced what the his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Okay, there. Kyo, there we go. Kyo. Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Oh, uh, Kokichi. Kokichi. Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He was planning there we to go. The new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo again. Kyo. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Me again! Not, this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie! We are consistent. Our position looks weak. We have to work together. If we vote now, we'll never know the truth. We have to defend that point. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie! Oh, shit! Kibo. We don't There's a second wave. This is awesome. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. Uh, Kyo. Anyone could have entered. Oh fuck me. Ow. Katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo. Yeah, Kyo again. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened. Kokichi. Go Kokichi. Blackened. We need to find. Coming to use the new rule to protect him. Kyo. Kyo again. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. I solved the mystery of Tanko's. I got this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. He forced his way into. Forced his way into Angie's lab and killed her. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie. It's Kyo. It's Kyo. It's Kyo. It's Kyo. Kibo. We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Mystery rule, black and lab. I got this. Let's go. But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. There we go. Was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo. Go, Blackened. Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not Blackened. Kokichi. Kokichi. Perhaps there's a second Blackened we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all of Kyo. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. All right, Kyo got this. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Save this for me. I got this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Hell yes. That was a hard one, actually. Killed Angie. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. So we know that Key was a piece of shit who killed Tenko, but and there's still the mystery of Tenko's murder. How is there still a mystery? 
Mystery? What kind of mystery? Yeah, what kind of mystery? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But... but we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. You're talking about the dried blood, right? Yes, the outlying piece of evidence at Tenko's murder scene. There was dried blood under the floor. This is it! The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tenko's blood? It's Angie's, it isn't it? Far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. That's Angie's blood. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? Because it wasn't Tenko's blood. Was wrong because it happened before the seance that's it oh okay the blood stain wasn't from tanko's murder it was there before we started the seance before the seance that should make it clear whose blood it was the blood stain from before the seance it was That's Angie's. It. That blood stain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? They must have moved the body. Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. That would explain the duct tape. Ah. Guess that's possible. They might have used the duct tape as a kind of bandage. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. All right, so now we're going to Angie's case. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her. But they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. Why didn't you say anything? So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? So she can pray to it too. I don't. Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. <laughs> did Angie have business in rooms? It seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. I don't feel like you would lie in this instance. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Yeah. Kyo's stone faced. Angie left her lab on her own, and she headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true, or? Holy if Necronomicon and the cage child. The art research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room. <laughs> she left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. Oh, she was gonna do the Necronomicon! She wanted a candle! Keep herself awake at night. She would drip hot wax on her body. Typical Mew. <laughs> that sounds like something only you would do, Mew. Yeah, why the fuck would you do that to yourself? That's not painful. What did Kokichi see? Something Angie did. There has to be a clue there. Yeah, the she was gonna left. perform the ritual. She it's had to go to an empty room killed. for it. She was killed in the empty room. And she left her lab on her own. She was going to perform but the ritual. why would she go into an empty room? 
There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. All right. That's it! She wanted a candle! Right. Boom. Consent! That's it. And she went to that room to get a candle. Yeah, for kinky wax play. No, Mew. Uh, no. Angie was gonna use it for the ritual. Cause she was gonna revive somebody. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. Either preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Then did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's exactly what happened. That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. Oh my god. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Oh my god, that's that's so threatening. Holy shit! Oh my that means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. I don't know who could have been the killer. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. I don't know who could have been the who could have been the killer. I mean, if we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. Let's go, Himiko. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. Yeah, Himiko, you're awesome. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. <laughs> it's neither. I just picked one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. What? You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room. And then move to the lab? Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. They used duct tape to cover up the wounds. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Wait, really? Mm hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. Uh, Monica file three. Oh. Uh. There were... Yeah, there was the forehead injury. This is it! The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from the katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. And I think I know why. She like knocked out? After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. Ooh. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Ha! It's all clear now. I see. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab. And it was there that the culprit finished her off. <laughs> all clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? What are you talking about? All clear. What is all clear? What is what are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All clear? Whoa, what? What are you all? You. You what? What? What are. I will not fear. I will not back down. Yo, what the fuck? Sweet Correggio, calm yourself. Yo! Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Is he a transgender? Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Does he, does he have like multiple personality? What are you mumbling about? You're getting 
giving me the goddamn willies. Is this man a freaking schizophrenic? Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts, of mysteries. What of the a fuck? Impenetrable fog. Jesus Christ! Nothing is clear at all. What is wrong with you? Blade duct tape, gold leaf katana. Angie was attacked in the empty room first, and then carried into the research lab. Impossible! Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion. You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions. What the fuck are you talking no about? Delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway in Duck the room had no blood stains. And boom! Oh, fuck. I'm going to smear it all over, because that's not there, isn't it? Just bend the facts make me suspicious. What kind of detective are you? You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood. Yeah, oh my god. So it's really not that. Okay, maybe I just need to. Maybe I just need to try it again. the culprit carried Angie's body? God. a single drop of blood fell? Kyo is losing his mind right now. The room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later. There'd still be traces of evidence left behind, but there was no evidence any- There we go! I'll cut through your words. I'll cut through those words. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Did you also kill? Angie? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been a Tua <laughs> for us. Oh my goodness. What? A Tua? How long are you going to keep that? Oh my up? god, he is losing it. Now we know most of the mystery behind Andy's murder. All we have to do is just pin it on somebody. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Who killed Angie? It was you, wasn't it? You're panicking hard right now! It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. What the f What the fuck? So it's true. What the fuck is going on? I well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. I'm so confused. You killed both of them. Why? Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. He killed Tenko to try and cover for himself. Why you killed them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. What? An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. How? Huh? Which one? The murder that was an accident. That's it. The murder of Angie was an accident. Angie's murder was an accident. But how? What? Tenko wasn't accident? So Tenko was destined to That's die, right. but... Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. Ooh! So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. Ooh! She 
just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then we should have just stopped there. But he had already planned to kill Tenko. There was no reason for him to kill Tenko. We only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. So why you do it, dipshit? If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. <laughs> Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Yo, why did you do it? Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? Kyo, you're a piece of shit. What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, so why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it? Calm yourself, Correggio. What the fuck? What is this? Yes. Yes. What? You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. What the fuck? You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. What is wrong with him? Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. What is wrong with him? You're right. Yeah. You're right. This dude has split personalities. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong? Shit aside, Jack, all over again. It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? I don't know. No matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. For you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. <laughs> no, I will not acknowledge it. Hmm. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. I'm just gonna show you something that you. What the fuck? Good job, Corregula. What the fuck? Yes, thanks. Ah, creeps me the fuck out. No evidence? There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. Oh, tell him, Suichi. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes? The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Kyo. What's the weapon? <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on. What the apologize. fuck? Apologize. 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 Okay, Mikan. What is wrong with you? Apologize, 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 apologize. Seriously, what the hell's happening? I, I'm with you. What the fuck? I have no idea what's happening with Keo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Oh my, I pressed the wrong button. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. Uh, there we go. Okay, got one of them. Why must you force your delusions on us? One, two, three, You're four. Not. That's merely a delusion. Uh, that. Bat, 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 well bat. Nice. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic. All right, we're just merely a delusion. There we go. That's another part. I told you I'm right. not the cold. One, two, three, so four, five. Why are you looking at me like that? One, two, three, You're four. You're all wrong. Oh shit. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Oh my god. Apologize. 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 I Shut the fuck you, up. I'm not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. What? 
Apologize. He's screwing my stuff. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. Two, three, four, so why five. Why are you looking at me like that? One, two, three, four. You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Boom! <laughs> Final blow. You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. Removed floorboard! He used the floorboard! Oh, what the f Why you didn't ban the one piece? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just... Like... And how do you know the floorboard was the I mean, I, I've never gotten that kind of comp before. I'll probably ban them, there but like... Small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Oh, that's a... I forgot about that! Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. Ooh! -hoo. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be For there, to be there, it had to be dripping the from the floorboard. Must not have been in place at the time of the attack. It also could have dripped if the blood was still Good wet. Point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Oh! Oh! Kilo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. <laughs> oh my God! How? The weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. Then Kyo was absolutely the culprit. The culprit. About the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Oh my god, Kyo! You're an absolute piece of shit, you know that? I mean, not gonna lie, looking at you, it looks like you had it in you. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board. And Angie walked in on him. When Angie walked in. So he rushed him with the... Her with the floorboard. Yeah, he rushed her with the board. Knocked her ass out. Ow. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. That's true. This is the truth. Uh... Stop moaning. Looks like we're You're almost weird. at the end. Yeah, I just gotta finish it off. Alright, Chuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. You got it, my dude. Chuichi, please put an end to this. I got you, baby. For Angie and Tanko's sake. And I say that not because I say that because it's like a Kimiko's like a little kid. It's hilarious. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Let's expose how much of a Kyo, I yeah. want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Closing argument. Who where uh who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Uh okay. He hit the sliding lock. That's over by here. Handle the spinning katana. Sickle was placed to kill. Here. There's a path made with salt. How is Cobra able to move around in the darkness? Path made with salt, yes. We moved the gold leaf katana. That should be all the way towards the end. Ow! That's painful. The small stone Himiko brought was what she laid her head upon. She attacked Angie with the removed floorboard. Stuck duct tape on her to make sure that Angie couldn't be. Footsteps contaminating the scene. That was over by here. A cut cross piece under the floor. That was the beginning.
Suichi extinguishes the flame. That's before the blackout. Stomped hard on the floorboard. Kokichi picked the lock to the art center. That should be right here. And Kyo stabbed the effigy. This is the truth of the case. There we go. Let's look back at the first murder. So while Kyo he removed it the floorboard. Was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. They used a saw. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. Yeah. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Angie ended up coming in. Poor Angie, man. <laughs> Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. So he grabbed the board and just clocked her. For the ritual <laughs> and had gone to the room for a candle. Just walked to the board and just, just bet. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. Yeah, Angie's kind of stupid. <laughs> but now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. So when Angie turned her back to get the candle, she took the board. Ow! The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. Ow! <laughs> now Angie was not in a good position. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. You know, for Angie's murder, it's a pretty damn good improvisation. Like... They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. And they took Angie to her lab. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to her research That's lab. That's also how he was able to get in. Because she left the door unlocked. Rip the duct tape off. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. He accidentally left the duct tape. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. Ooh. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. Then they went and grabbed a sword. Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked, locked the, the door. door from inside. They kept the other door unlocked. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. Ouch! They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck. Finally killing her. Ouch! I mean, at least she was unconscious. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. I'm not gonna lie, this was actually a really solid plan, and if he just did this murder, then it would have been absolutely fine. If he just did this murder, it would have been A-OK. -okay. Because this murder didn't point to anybody. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down.
There were two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the key to locking the room. They stabbed Kaede, or at least a little wax thing. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. Then he twisted it. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. This is so fucking smart. Like, what? Then he ran and shut the door. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. The effigy began to spin. Picked up speed. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Eventually hit the lock. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. Holy fuck, that's... A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. Holy fuck. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. So they made sure that they got it. And Once now complete, Angie... The door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Poor Angie was now stuck. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. Yeah. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. And now we had a locked room mystery. Now, in the middle of the investigation... Then, or actually, morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. Yeah, before the investigation, Kokichi picked the lock, which allowed us to enter the room, which is where we found Angie. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. And yeah, so the culprit told us to perform a seance, in which Himiko chose the middle room. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. So then it was me, Himiko... I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Yeah, so it was me, Himiko, um, Kokichi, the culprit, and the unfortunate victim, Tenko. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. Actually, one thing that is really sad is that Tenko volunteered to be the medium, so she unintentionally gave her life for Himiko. Because he, Himiko to volunteered to be the... Seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. Himiko volunteered to be the... The a thing at first, I forgot. Himiko had brought from the courtyard. Oh, and he used this to mark the neck location! Oh, that's smart! Holy shit! Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. So he used this to make... Yeah! Oh my god! Making sure the murder went as planned. So yeah, she bowed her head, which put her neck in the most opportune position. Kokichi and I Next, carried the cage. Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko, in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. He was hiding a they sickle in there. the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. Yeah, he was hiding the, the sickle in there. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Specifically in a downwards location in a predetermined spot. And we took the dog Finally, statue. Four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. And since the statue was 175 pounds... It held the sickle in place. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. So Kokichi and me blew out the candles. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. All the culprit had to do was follow along while they were secretly making their movements. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. But the medium was going to end up being the... Another plan. 
to commit a murder in the darkness. The, the, the medium was going to be the one who died, ironically. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. And you wonder why the ritual didn't work. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that they used. They found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. They jumped on it. Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. The that floorboard lifted up like a seesaw. And shoved Tenko's neck into the sickle. And pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. Then he refollowed the circle. The, crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. And we relit the candles. Finished the ritual and had us light the candles. And he was standing right there. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. Then Himiko ran over and found the dead body. Actually, all of us did. And discovered Tenko's body. Once again, the reason the body discovery went off was because me, Himiko, and Kokichi were the ones to find it. He hid the sickle and dropped it into that. He dropped While it under we were the floor. All focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle. And he dropped it through the hole in the corner of the room. It under the floor, through the hole in the corner of the yeah, room. Yeah, there we go. Then everybody ran in. And ruin the magic circle. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. Oof. <laughs> he really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. And that culprit is... Kurekiyoshi Guji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. You know, Kyo, I, I was honestly starting to warm up. I was starting to warm up to you. But no, you suck. Like, hard. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. <laughs> Got anything to say? times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Bro, just give up and die already. Admit? Go die in a fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. He did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Bro, I thought there were two different killers. I'm surprised. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret, my only regret, was not being able to make 100 friends. What the f- 100 friends? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. Bro, you use Twitter or something? Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. W what are you Where is this about? coming from? I do not understand a word of this. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Agreed. Roger that. One voting time coming up. The heart 
racing excitement as what <laughs> the heart racing excitement has a black and in a spotless finally face off why are they like why are they hating on model yeah. them Alright! Why are they hating on Monodem? <laughs> God, we've lost a lot of us. Well, we're about to lose another, and I'm not too sad about this one. I'm not gonna lie, I looked at Correcchio, and... Now then, he, uh... It seems that voting has it seems like he's had it in him from the beginning, honestly. I'm not surprised that he's the one who committed the double murder. I mean, he's very creepy. He even voted for himself. God damn. What if I just vote for Rancharo? <laughs> Chosen as the black. You said that. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? You said that too late, my guy. Verdict. Let's see. I'm trying to give this dipshit a, a cookie or something. Class trial ended. I got my ass kicked in that one nonstop to be. How'd I get an A for that? What? Oh yeah, and I I did get a back route. In here, I, I did a back route by lying about um Kibo's flashlight. Pretty cool. Uh which was the debate that I got fucking destroyed on? Really? It was- How'd I get a B on this one? Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, this is way too forgiving when it comes to grading. Oh, I also did kind of bad with the scrum debate. I like how much, like, variety there is in stuff. It's pretty- pretty dope. Wow, seriously? You're correct again! Amazing! This is the third correct verdict in a row! Dude, literally nobody's gotten past the class trial. Like, you shouldn't be surprised at this. All right. If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. <laughs> How is this gonna last that long? For now. It's finally over. No. Not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kyo, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tenko? Right. Yeah, he don't need to kill them both, no matter what motive he have. Oh. Motive? Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how does that trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaida? Shut up! I never said I was scared. <laughs> the resurrection ritual has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I... Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. What? So it had nothing to do with the motive. Nah. Then, why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. Really? From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear, someone I long for. What the heart. fuck? And she loves me with all her heart. What the fuck? Okay. Yes. We vowed in endless love to each other. Forever bound by fate. I can't tell. Is that a woman or is weird woman personality? None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. No matter what anyone says. There's also cheeks. I don't know why. Who's this one you love? Why? Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you, some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> so to see this lover of yours, you had to escape. Don't tell me. That's why you killed Angie and Tenko? 
But why did you need to kill both? If you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one that I love is inside. Oh, what? Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. No one wanted disgusting shit stuff to bitch like you, anyways. There's blue. What the what? Hey. Kyo, who is it? Who is this person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> when I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see. I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? Sister? Wait. Don't look at me, I'm not a sister. <laughs> Miyu, this has nothing to do with you. Right? Well, duh. If you were a sister, he would have killed himself already. <laughs> Wait. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. Sweet home Alabama! <laughs> There's a little asterisk in the top left that says no physical connection. <laughs> the fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. They called it forbidden love, but none could stop the love we shared. Kyo, you're fucking weird, man. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. Kyo, what the fuck? The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Now, don't don't none of y'all get ideas with those cheeks in the background, cause this this is the same dude. For my beloved sister, I had to. Always mess You had to now. escape from here, right? No. No, I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. What? Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost, so her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved sister! For sister's sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. Oh my god, that's so sad! Oh my god! His sister died, he's just killing people! And he said he was almost at 100! <laughs> They were all wonderful people, worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. Sister is very happy. Yes. Yes, Kurekyo, and I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. W what? Could it be that the lipstick version of Kurekyo is... I am Korekio's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. What, what the hell? Yes. <laughs> after I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught, I nearly went mad. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. Now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Correcchio. That's wonderful, Correcchio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this really a spirit? I told you. He's just delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. <laughs> Ew. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you know. You said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here. What was that? What? <laughs> Seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? You didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. 
<laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Unacceptable. Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who think they are worthy of being sisters' friends. Huh? Only girls? Wow, damn, it really is the opposite of Genocide Jack. I see. So when we were deciding on who should be the medium... Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Oh. Uh, um, you said it would work best with a girl. I. I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Mew, they were all worthy. <laughs> Maki and Mew. <laughs> all worthy of being sisters' friends. Yeah. All worthy. Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, it's not like I care. Then... Then, the second victim could have been me? Uh, Tenko died in place of me? She volunteered. She took Himiko's place. Oh, no! Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I have studied many people. Ah... Uh. Yes. Can this be? She stood up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Well. Though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too. Eventually. No way! What? You did that all for... Mm. Wow, so you did that all just to kill? For you to go that's far, that, that, that's pretty impressive. Oh, you were interested in the cage child just so you can use it to kill someone, right? Let's see. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course. But more than that... For my beloved sister... I wanted to kill for sister. I cannot deny that overpowering feeling. Oh my god. Are you okay? Kaido, are you okay? You look kind of pale. Don't worry about it. Let's just focus on Kyo right now. Allow me to explain. Though I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However... But Angie walked in on me preparing, and I ended up killing her a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else, too. After all, it would be a shame to waste the seance trick I prepared. What is that? You're talking like you killed her just because you could. Mm. No, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. You know, honestly, if you just killed Angie, you, you would have gotten away with it. Like, there was no clear indications as to who the killer was. Literally no indications. You would have gotten away, and then you could have given all your friends to sister, but honestly, it's better that you're dying in this place. Arakio. You're such a thoughtful little brother, but it was bad to get greedy. Oh, dear. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send 100 friends to sister. Well, you're about to be the next one. <laughs> Do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Karekio's crime. <laughs> I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. Why? That's right. Killing two friends for your dead sister? But how? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> Don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. Even though I am a ghost now, I am always by Korekio's side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. <sighs> Cut it out already. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing's making sense. 
It's not fair. Why did Angie and Tenko have to die for something so unfair? Well, because death is unfair. Yeah. And another thing. All deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? <laughs> because everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game. <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. If people were watching this. Shut up! Knock off the bullshit. We sick fucks would enjoy watching this. You got me. Hell yeah. If I wasn't in this killing game, I would have so much fun watching. So then. The nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> but my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. Sister. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. I was unable to send her 100 friends. But at least I can see her again now. Correcchio. It's alright, sweet Correcchio. Come to me. Oh. Looks like you've already prepared. Now then, let's get started. It's punishment time! Huh? Punishment time? Sister. My beloved sister, at long last, I'll finally get to see you again. That's right. Yes, from here on, no one will try to stop us. We can be together without having to hide our love from others. Nah, you're going to hell for that. What? Wait, I can't accept this. Therefore. Like I said, there's no such thing as a death that can't be accepted, or can be accepted. From an anthropological point of view. Why do you think so many different cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? Yes. The living must find a reason, however. Forced to accept death when it happens. How you come to terms with death also determines how you live. Yes? What was that? What? I. That was the answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces death? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I shall observe. I will watch over you all as a ghost. As your friend, I will watch over you. That's right. It won't be just me and Korakio. All those who died will be watching. I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your friends. Humanity is I'll beautiful. be watching forever. And ever. It's punishment time! Welp. Can't say I'm saddened by this. Correcchio has been found guilty. Time for the punishment! What are they gonna do for an anthropologist? Oh my shit. Culture melting pot. Yo, this execution looks bomb! He's just spinning him a lot? Whoop! Down he goes. Oh my god, he's actually in a melting pot! Holy shit, they're boiling him! Dude! <gasps> uh oh, <laughs> Monodem, what? Oh my god! That's so brutal! Oh, yeah, he's a ghost now. And there's a sister. Huh? Salt? <laughs> Destroying his ghost. Oh, my God. Hmm? What? Oh, Wait, a month did just kill. 
kill himself? Why? What? Mother damn. Why? How can this be? To, to think my cute child would commit suicide. Yay! It's so cute. It's so freaking cute he would kill himself because he couldn't get along. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. They just boiled him alive. They just boiled him alive and then salted his ghost. My man got executed twice. I mean, albeit, that wasn't as brutal as the first two, but Jesus Christ. Actually, no, fuck that. No, fuck that. Getting boiled alive is painful. Ouch. Martyrdom committed suicide. Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Monadam obsessed over getting along was because everyone but me bullied him. That's right. Yes, the other Monad Cubs drove him to suicide, but not me. Hey. Hey, uh, who's Monadam? Eh? You already forgot? That's kind of scary. Well, now. Looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident. So, I'm gonna take back this here Necronomicon. Seems like a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? You guys should have bought someone back to life and add them to your roster. Shut up. How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told you. Ignore him. This whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> Who can say? What a waste. If none of you were going to use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um... Which one? Eh? Well, I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Mm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just been two of us this whole time. Oh, yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> too bad. So long. Farewell. So we actually missed the chance to raise the dead? Uh, um, Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing around. Man, this is stupid. What people believe in is up to them, but... Living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course. The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what. <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. But... But there's one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but <laughs> there isn't after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are the best weapons we have. Go to do his best. Then go to do his best to protect everyone. Um. But your talent is entomology. I don't want Suichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. You're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> Your talent that's an assassin is way more trouble. When are you gonna use that, huh? Okay. I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. That's right. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling is a killer shows? Huh. Don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. Got a minute? I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki roll? Oh. oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. <sighs> You're right. Only nine people left now. <laughs> well, what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. That's right. Seven pieces of shit have been flushed away, and only nine remain. Actually... By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But... Just nine of us. 
Humans are like weeds. Too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking. Right? Right? How rude. I am not thinking that. Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. But you know. But hey. None of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on a god, spirits, or the dead. I believe in you. Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Okay. Kaido. Well, of course. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hey, hey. Hold up. Keyboy needs to apologize to everyone for this whole student council thing. Hmm. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting! Yank your head off and smash it onto the ground with all your strength. Got that? No way! I have never heard of such an intense form of apology. It seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. You alright? Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. Hey! I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be the best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh. Oh. Going to understand. Oh. I feel so bad for Himiko. You're so dumb. God, Himiko was such a liar. Wow, okay. Jeez, I'm sorry. Huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it. You wouldn't have any free will if the world was just compromised with the truth. But... But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? Right? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Uh -uh. I only said this because I thought about it. Because... Himiko's been lying to herself about her own feelings. So she's been holding back. Hey! Hey, what are, why are you repressing? Or what are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? Hold back? Expressing your feelings in a per is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed of that at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. <laughs> Tenko, Angie, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely without you two. But I gotta survive. I can't go to where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without the both of you. Somebody give her a hug. Damn it. God. Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. The tears we shed, I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through, and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However, oh, she hard to carry, Gonta? No, she fine. He's like a dad. <laughs> She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots <laughs> after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel. But wow, that really surprised me. <laughs> 
She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. He becomes like a little kid. <laughs> she probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go and tell Carrie Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya. Oh my god! Mew! There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gota is a gentleman after all. Yes, he is a gentleman. He will never do that kind of stuff. When we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed Kaido had stopped in his tracks. Hmm. What's wrong? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. Huh? You sure? Well. Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were you worried about me. Yeah, worried about your stupidity. Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? But maybe not. But I feel like the walls, yeah, I feel like the walls we had go up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Got it. Yeah, because of me. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe. But you sound like you're bragging, Kaido. Like I said, I'm gonna get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaido. Cough. <laughs> what? Whoa! Damn it. I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Whoa, whoa, what? Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. No way. Why is he coughing up blood? Whoa, that's a that's a plot twist. What the fuck? Surviving members, 11, 10, 9. Mysterious mask. Yes, I wish to save. Can I, uh... Hey there. Yep, that's gonna be for the next stream. Holy moly. That was one hell of a trial. I thought it was gonna be two killers, but no, Corey Kiyu just... Or Korekio, I don't know how to say his name. It's Korekio, but I keep saying it's Korekio. Yeah, he killed both of them. Holy shit. Um. Also, now Kaido is dying? Like, what is up with that? That's bad. I don't I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of questions. And now we just finished chapter three. So we're officially halfway through the game. Freaking eight streams later, we're halfway through. So, I don't really know when I'm going to do my next stream, but until next time, that's going to be it for Danganronpa. Later.